congratulations for being WonderCon for Justice League versus Ruby. How does it feel today? Uh, it feels great. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, we were actually talking about it earlier. Most people don't know, but when you're recording, you're by yourself in a booth. So this is my first time getting to physically meet the other superheroes, the Ruby girls. So it was very exciting to be here. Oh no, I was going to say this is like a team up meeting, but now this is it as really is a team up meeting. Yes. <laughs> so how how do you love uh, you know about you know voicing? Would you, you're you're on the side of Justice League on this one, yeah. Yes, I am. Um, although. Uh, oh, I don't know how many spoilers I can say because I've already seen the movie, but when they come, everybody is, there's a big mystery of why they're there, they're all dispersed, so Green Lantern is kind of off doing her own thing, so I didn't get to have so much, I feel like I had probably more interaction with Ruby people than with DC people during this movie, which is interesting, um, but yeah. Now, of course, you know, this is, this is a different Green Lantern that a lot of people, you know, used to in the movies. It's not but Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, it's not the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern, the one that we want to forget. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, so tell us about how much fun with Green Lantern you have on this one. Um, it was a lot of fun. I got to... Um, Normally with superheroes, you know of like the Wonder Woman type where she's a warrior, she's super strong, and she always knows where she's going. And that's not Jessica Cruz's story. Um, she deals with panic attacks, she deals with anxiety, and so it was very interesting to play a superhero that is so human and so vulnerable. I loved getting to play that aspect. I, I thought you just described a normal person and not a superhero. It's true, it's true. She is more like a normal person, especially in this. Um, they come as teenagers, so imagine teenage anxiety. Um, so it was, but then she's also, she does have superpowers. It was very cool to play. What is your, what is your delight of voice acting yourself? Oh, so many things to love about it. Um, I love getting to play another character, do different kinds of voices. Um, you just get to not be yourself, and you get to take on really good um, aspects. Like, when you play a superhero, you leave the booth and you're like, I am a superhero. I feel like a superhero. Um, so I love that feeling. <laughs> and before I let you go, you know, one of the best things about Green Lanterns is they could conjure up anything. What would you love to conjure up on a regular basis? Oh, what wouldn't I want to conjure up? Everything. Um, oh my goodness. I'd probably want to conjure up like a super cool flying boat to take me everywhere. Just fly across the sky and then when I go to work I like land in front of the studio and be like, yeah, that's mine. I, I like it. it's not a plane, but it has to be a flying boat. Yes, yes. It has to like all like rainbow coming behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Both excellent. Hey, thank you very much and it's gonna be a love have fun today. Thank you. Thank I'm you. so excited. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>